Hi guys, Tyler Rains wanted me to make a car out of party plates. This isn't that video, but it did get me thinking about making wheels out of party plates. So here we go. I'm just going to see if I can make some wheels out of these paper plates. I need to find the centres first so I can get the axles in the right place. They don't have much strength so I'm hoping that if I glue two together then they'll be reasonably strong. But I need to be able to put an axle right through the middle. It's a way of estimating where the centre is. So as long as you're using the very outside edge and just keep drawing lots of marks, you can see that we have an area in the middle that must be the centre. I need four wheels, so that's going to be eight plates. I've got this old cork that I'll put underneath so I've got something to push against. So now, if I glue these together, yeah, there's a barbecue skewer. I should have a reasonably good wheel. glue these together. I think I might give super glue a try again because I've got this cheap super glue from the bargain store. It comes in a pack of three I think. Either three or four or five for a pound. I don't know that super glue is particularly good for paper. We'll try it out. Super glue's never my first choice because there's this thing about being able to stick your fingers together. Ideally I'd clamp that all round the edges, but I don't think I've got anything suitable to do that with. There we go, four wheels. I think the first one was the best. The others are a little bit offline. Next we'll have to make a chassis and decide how we're going to power it. To save a bit of time I've used one of my old cardboard rubber band powered car chassis. It's just a piece of cardboard with drinking straws either end. It's got a bent paper clip 
sticking up there to hook the rubber bands onto. And the axle's got a bit of barbecue skewer sticking up to hook the rubber band onto at that end. I've used super glue to glue the wheels to the barbecue skewers. They're not particularly straight, but we'll see if it works. I'm only using some very thin rubber bands because I don't think I need much power. We just did the length of my kitchen and the length of my conservatory, which is about 8 or 9 metres, and there's still some rubber band left on the back axle there, so that was easy. And for a bit more fun, I've got this handheld fan that I converted in a previous video to put a bigger propeller blade on it. The original propeller blade worked fine, but we were talking about making them from paper or card. This is very thin card here. I've got a couple of bits of blue tack, or white tack as this happens to be. So we'll just stick it in place. Turn it on, and away we go again. left a bit. Let's point it over to the right. That works fine. Summary time. What have we got here? Well the important thing we've got here is we've got paper plates for wheels. I've used two paper plates for each wheel so we've got eight paper plates. And I stuck them together round the rim. I used super glue. Got to be a bit careful using super glue. Make sure you don't stick your fingers together when you're doing it. But I would imagine virtually any glue would do. Got barbecue skewers for the axles, which I've super glued to the plates. I've used an old rubber band powered car chassis, which is only a piece of cardboard with drinking straws either end to hold the axles and I've used it as a rubber band powered car just using very thin rubber bands it worked absolutely fine with them and I also put that electric fan on it so that we could have a fan driven car as well um, if we just take that off again There's a paper clip there that sticks up the front there to hook the rubber band onto and on the back there's a piece of barbecue skewer stuck to the axle to hook the rubber band onto at the back. And that's it.
job done.